Here's how you can crop videos, images, stickers, and GIFs with Clipchamp. Start by logging into Clipchamp or sign up for free. Next, you'll be taken inside the editor. To get started, you'll import the video you want to crop. Do this by clicking on the Import Media button, selecting the asset, and then hitting Open. Your asset will load into your media library here. Now, just drag and drop your video into the timeline to get editing. Next, to crop your video, click on the asset in your timeline, and it will highlight in green so you know it's selected. Then navigate up to the floating toolbar where these editing options will appear. Click on the crop button and now just drag the corners and the sides in or out. Do this until you've cropped your asset to your desired size. You can also move the video around the crop by dragging it. Once you're happy, click on the done button to action the crop. If you've made a mistake, click back into the crop button, then just hit revert to original and the asset will adjust back to its original size. For images, stickers, and GIFs, follow the same steps to crop. Now, once you've cropped your asset, you'll notice the black edges here. This is because it's no longer in its original aspect ratio size. You can leave it as it is if you'd like, but it isn't very aesthetic. So now either ensure that the asset fills the whole canvas or add a background behind it. To ensure the video fills the whole canvas, in the floating toolbar, click on the fit or fill button. This will resize the asset to match the aspect ratio you've selected. You can also change the aspect ratio on the right here by clicking on the one you want and then again filling the canvas. Now, if you'd like to keep the asset in its cropped size and you don't want it to fit the full screen, you'll add a background to hide the black border. You can either import your own asset for the background by following the same import steps as the beginning or just use one of our stock background assets. Do this by navigating over to the content library in the toolbar, clicking the drop down arrow in the visuals tab, then selecting backgrounds. Now either use the search bar to search for something specific or jump into one of our categorized background collections. For example, I'll jump into gradient backgrounds. Hover over the background for a preview of what it looks like. Then when you found the one you want to use, drag and drop it into the timeline placing it below your video asset. Now you can move your cropped video anywhere you'd like on the canvas, and it's as simple as that. Once you're completely happy with your video and your edits are complete, you'll export it by heading to the export button, selecting your video quality, and then once the export is complete, it will download to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how to crop any asset with Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.